Example number 3, also we have to check whether this will give us indeterminate form or not. Okay, cos 0 is 1. Tangent 0 is 0, so 1 over 0 is infinity. So this is indeterminate form. Okay, using the same method, we let y be cos x to the power of 1 over tangent x. After that, we roll both sides. So this will give us 1 over tangent x ln cos x. So this is actually equal to ln cos x over tangent x. So means that the limit for x approaches 0 for ln y is actually equal to limit x approaches 0 ln cos x over tangent x. If let's say we substitute 0 into this function, cos 0 is 1. So ln 1 is 0. And tangent 0 is 0. So 0 over 0 in determinate form. That we can apply the Robita rule already. Okay, so means that limit x approaches 0 for their derivative. Okay, so log, differentiate ln cos x will have 1 over cos x and then differentiate cos x will have negative sine x differentiate tangent x is secant square x so it means that this is actually equal to limit x approaches 0 sine x over cos x is tangent x okay times negative so negative tangent x secant square x is 1 plus tangent square x. When we substitute 0 into this function, tangent 0 is 0. Okay, tangent 0 is 0. 0 to the power of 2 will be 0. So it means that this will give us 0 over 1 plus 0, which is 0. Okay, using the same method, we apply exponent to both sides, meaning to say the anti log. Okay, so it means that limit x approaches 0 for cos x to the power of 1 over tangent x is actually equal to exponent to this limit. Okay, this limit is 0, so it means that exponent to the power of 0, so it means that it's equal to 1. Okay, then we done.